I'm Jane Spector. I'm a real estate agent with Smith & Associates. I've been in the business over 25 years. The main house has four bedrooms. I like to help people find an area and the home and the lifestyle and then beyond there help them create it. When I am working with somebody, be it a buyer or a seller, I consider it a partnership. And as their real estate agent, I want us all to go through this together. I got in the real estate business because I had such a passion for houses. Yeah. I used to go to every single open house there was. I used to say I was ready to buy the house. The agents used to say, why don't you just get in the market? I could nail down the price a house is going to sell for. Was and this in then, Florida? This was in Florida. Uh. And the broker for one of the Merrill Lynch offices called me. He said, if I sent you to school, would you come to Merrill Lynch? And I said, I can't guarantee I'll come to Merrill Lynch, but I will go to school. You know, I'll take care of it, obviously. And it was a natural. I always say to somebody, find the location and then the house. Because you can always change a house, you cannot change a location. Oftentimes people have a vision of what they want in a house and they end up going somewhere they had not really been interested in and then they're stuck. So the first thing I say is pick the area you want to be in and then we'll find you your house. Buying a house for the first time is very, very exciting and can be somewhat disappointing because you have this vision of what you want and you're spending an awful lot of money. You've not spent this kind of money on anything before. And, you know, it may not be what you thought it was going to be. And they have a tendency to um, cubbyhole themselves with a certain house. And if you can bring them around by showing them other houses but not taking them away from what they want, usually it's easier to make a decision and understanding financing. And the most important thing for a first time home for anybody is to make sure you're qualified before you go out. It's time to sell your house when you're ready. When you've gotten to a point in your life where your house is too big, you want to travel, your house is not large enough, and um, then, of course, you want to find out from an agent the value that, again, it's what somebody will pay and somebody will take. This market has changed a lot, and right now, because of the baby boomers, we're having a lot of empty nesters, people moving on to the next point in their life, so they're looking for something very different. They're probably leaving a fairly large house. They're looking either to scale down to a house with very little land, possibly a condo, possibly a townhome, the younger going up to the next level is looking for the house the older are selling. Right. You know, the larger home, lots of land. They're very concerned about schools. They've got an idea of where they want to be. One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make, particularly if they're not from the area, is they look in an area, they say, I want to be 20 minutes from downtown and they'll look in South Tampa. They'll say, no, you, I want to look somewhere else. And you might go to Carrollwood. And you're in the car and they go, you know, I'm not finding what I want. Is there anything anywhere else? Well, you say, we can go out another 10 minutes. Well, another 10 minutes is nothing, except when you're going back and forth to work. Mm -hmm. It was another 10 minutes from where you just were. That's much different than when you're driving to and from. There's no area I say is better than the next, but if you have a goal and you've set a goal, you really want to stay within that.